First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukal Kordash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, their rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akimin, you Akwa, to believe in all sincerity. I'm not too sure what I'm going to title this lesson, but I would like to speak on, um, you know, basically, uh, you know, not making the ministry look bad, okay, by your actions, all right? And it's very important that we uh, hold ourselves to a standard when we are around those that are without. Okay, because um, as brothers already know, the, the Hebrew Israelites are already getting a bad name, okay, through individuals that are not uh, keeping to that standard. And the standard is the scriptures. It's the word. Okay, so let's bring out a couple uh, precepts and uh, Lord willing, uh, be edified, you know, and um, it's very important, okay, that um, us as, you know, ministers, of this gospel that we uh, conduct ourselves in a manner which brings nothing but honor, okay, to Yahweh Bashim Yahashai and the ministry. All right, so <clears throat> let's get this. This is a Second Corinthians chapter six verse three. It says, "Giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not blamed." Okay, so we're not supposed to offend in anything. Okay, that'll ultimately make the ministry be blamed. Okay, and that can be in, um, you know, behavior, you know, things you say, things you post on social media. I mean, you know, everything and anything should not be offensive to the point where the ministry is blamed. Now, we know people are looking for every single thing, okay, to uh, nitpick and, um, you know, criticize the ministry. But, you know, ultimately through the spirit, those that have wisdom are going to know, you know, what is honorable and what is dishonorable. OK. It says giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. NLT, we live in such a way that no one will stumble because of us and no one will find fault with our ministry. Right. We don't want to. Um do things that'll cause one to, uh, you know, stumble, you know, cause one to sin, okay? Now, we know we have grace, and we know some eat herbs and some eat meat, but, you know, the scriptures say if you do something to cause someone to uh, offend, you 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 weaken, you know, that, that man's conscience, so you have to be very careful, you know, what you do around uh, brothers and even others that are without, Okay? Okay, because you don't want your ministry to be uh, discredited. You don't want, you know, you don't want to do something or say something where someone say, oh, well, there goes those Israelites, you know, saying one thing, doing another, or, you know, doing something that's a contrary to the scriptures. You know, you got Vocab Malone that tries to bring out scriptures to discredit us and what we're saying, but they don't have the, uh, they're not spiritual, so they can judge no, you know, therefore they can they cannot judge us, if that makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> Let's uh and these are not in no particular order to the spirit. Let's just let's get this. Philippians one and twenty seven. Only let your conversation be as it become at the gospel of Hamashiach. Let's get this word conversation. Strong's G forty one seventy six Poly two am I. Poly two am I. Right, to behave as a citizen. Thayer's lexicon. Poly two. Poly two. To behave as a citizen, you see? And you coming back to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, you are now a citizen of the household of the Most High. Okay? You're no longer a stranger or a foreigner. You're not acting like you don't know what's going on. You know you are uh, uh, accountable. Okay? What does it say down here? To conduct oneself as a pledge to some law of life. Okay? And, you know, we have to uh, establish the law to the best of our ability. We have a standard. Okay? You, you pledge to that. You, you, you vow, okay, to live by the standard of this ministry. So you have to conduct yourself as such. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Hamashiach, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit, you don't want to be double-minded, okay? Whether brothers are 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 uh, in your presence, 
uh, elders, apostles, or whether they be absent. You know, you you stand fast in one spirit in all your affairs with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel, right? You know, striving with the Akim, knowing that the Akim are a certain way, you're a certain way. And that has to be at all times. There's no, um, you know, taking off this truth, okay? You, you are in the truth at all times and your conduct must be um, the same. <clears throat> This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 12. That ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that ye may have lack of nothing. You see, you have to walk honestly toward them that are without, especially to those who don't have the knowledge, who are without this truth, who are on the outside. You have to walk honestly. You know, this truth doesn't give you the uh, license to just bogart in the world. You know, you're not just riding high on the Israelite um on the Israelite tip, you know, that you have, because the scriptures say the Lord given uh, no man, no license to sin. So we're not to sin or run amok and think that we're justified because we're under grace and we know scriptures and this, that, and the other. And because there's, there's, um, there's a recklessness, you know, that some may have when they first come in. But after a while, you learn that uh, there's a standard, there's a way to be. Okay, in the presence of Akim and also when Akim are not around, you continue to live as a disciple. You continue to live through, by the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And others may, must see that, you know. Not that you appear approved, but that you do what, what's honest in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without and that ye may have lack of nothing. Right, you want to have a good report. Okay, in and out of the truth. <clears throat> this is First Peter 2 and 12. It says, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they made by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify the Most High in the day of visitation. So again, your behavior among the Gentiles, okay, and, and, and you know, not only these other nations, but even even uh, Israel that doesn't know they're Israelites, okay? The, you know, that are in the Gentile mind state, you know? Your conversation, your behavior, you know, must always be honest, okay? Because they're going to speak against you as evildoers. They're going to say, oh, you don't... You don't want to eat, um, you know... Uh, you don't want to eat uh, pork at the uh, the luncheon... Okay, or you don't want to uh, participate in, um, you know, Christmas festivities. They're going to speak evil as you. They're going to look at you and say, hey, this man, you know, he conducts himself himself in a different way. He, he you know, he carries himself different. And they, you know, people don't, you know, they, they don't necessarily like that. But that's okay. They're going to, you know, whether they talk about you as evildoers or not, they're going to see your good works. And they're going to, you know, glorify the Most High. They're going to say, wow, the Most High is in that man, you know. You know, they're supposed to really see uh, um, a man of the Lord. They're supposed to see um, a good person, you know, an honest person, someone that can be uh, uh, relied upon, someone that's not going to lie, cheat, rob, steal, do any of those things, right? You know, you don't, you don't want the ministry to be blamed by your actions, by your behavior, by the things you say, you know, anything that is... Related to you, okay? It, it, you don't want it to be um, tainted, okay? You want it to be uh, free from rebuke. Let's get this. Philippians 2 and 15, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High. You see, blameless and harmless, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. Okay, Israel is crooked and perverse, and we're supposed to be blameless and harmless. What manner of persons are we to be in all holy conversation and godliness? It's something to uh, look into. It's something to, uh, to practice. 
You know, we can't let these slip. When we wake up in the morning, we're an Israelite. When we go to bed, we're an Israelite. We're disciples of Yahweh Bashem El Shai 24 7, in front of the brothers, away from the brothers, among those that are without. We are holding the standard. We are honoring the Heavenly Father because He sees us. It's not about brothers ain't around, so you, you know, you can just slouch and relax and no, no, always upright, always honest. Always walking with integrity. All right? The sons of the Most High, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Right? You're supposed to see, be seen as a beacon of light. You know, truth be told, you know, you, you're going to stand out. If you're, pro if you're living the proper way, you're going to be noticed. It's just the way it is. You know, uh, I'm reminded of Daniel, you know. Uh, he became second to the Pharaoh, right? Because of his conduct, because of his work, that, work ethic, and, and because of the truth, because he was an Israelite. He was the son of the Most High among a crooked and perverse nation, okay? And our people are crooked and perverse, always looking for something to uh, to hate on, degrade, or to be little. You know, you must give them little to nothing, you know, which they're, they'll find something, but hey, that's, you know, that let that be on their account, not yours. All right. <clears throat> this is uh, Titus 2, and I'll start at 7. And all things showing thyself a pattern of good works and doctrine showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. Okay, a pattern of good works. It, it's, you know, you're known to, to be on point, you know, to bring, to be, you know, to bring forth good works and doctrine showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. Okay. Sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Okay? Your speech it also cannot be condemned. You're not supposed to just be saying whatever. You know, you got a lot of Israelites that what they don't say at home, it seems like they go say it at work. Because they won't be saying that in front of their family and their friends, but they'll say it in front of strangers. See, they were not to be like that. You know, people really do forget who they are. They step out the door and they forget, you know, the manners, you know, they forget uh, where they come from, you know, what they're about, their morals, all these things. They just forget because they're without, they're, with, they're among people who don't know them. No, we must not be like that. It says, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Okay, so those that are contrary to you, you know, they're not going to hear what you say and, and condemn it and be like, wow, that's an Israelite. He's saying that he's moving like that. He did that. Wow. That's blatant. that has the ministry um, that gives a that gives uh, a, uh, an occasion to, for the ministry to be blamed and even yourself to be looked up, looked upon as as, um, you know, uh, um behavior that is that is not conducive to you know what we believe okay that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed having no evil thing to say of you right at the end of the day when you know the smoke settles you know when you know people really look at you you know they don't have nothing to say they they, they become ashamed because you know on all actuality you conducted yourself better than them you know and people will lose themselves you don't really got to cut people off. They kind of just, you know, fade to the back because they see that you are not what they thought. OK, and you may have to cut people off. OK, because they want to find fault. They want to find blame. They're always trying to uh, judge you. But if they're not in this truth and they don't have the spirit, they cannot judge you. I mean, you're going to encounter that. So, Lord willing, that was... Um, you know, edifying, there was wisdom in this, um, something that uh, me, myself, I'm going to uh, implement even more, okay, since I've kind of perceived it. You know, this this happens, and people do kind of look at you a certain type of way to, you know, find fault, but, you know, through the Spirit, you know, let us conduct ourselves in, in a way where they can say nothing, okay? So, Lord willing, this is edifying. Again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rokakwadash, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and a sincere salutation to your Akim and your Akwa to believe in all sincerity. Shalom.